What's going on guys? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you five reasons to buy the blue G50 Mega in 2021. Before we get started, I do wanna ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. And now, let's get into the video. So my first reason to buy the blue G50 Mega in 2021 is the large display. This phone has a six and a half inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 720p, a PPI of 270, and an aspect ratio of 20 by nine. So while the resolution isn't the highest, this phone has a really large display that's gonna be good for content consumption. So if you're watching a video, maybe playing a game or reading or something like that, you're gonna be able to see the details better because it's all gonna be larger. But at the same time, this phone does have a decently thin design, so even though the display is on the larger side, you're not gonna have the drawback of a bulky phone, so it's still gonna be decently comfortable to hold in your hand and carry around in your pocket. My second reason to buy the blue G50 Mega in 2021 is the device security. This phone has not only a fingerprint scanner right here on the back in a real convenient, easy to reach location, but it also has face unlock. Lots of entry level phones like this one do have either face face unlock or a fingerprint scanner, but this phone actually has both, which while not uncommon, is something you don't see every day in this price range. A lot of phones I have seen around the same price, even a little bit higher priced than this phone, don't have either a fingerprint scanner or face unlock. So in that case, you're stuck with using a pin or a password, which is not ideal, especially when you need to get into your phone faster. So having a fingerprint scanner and face unlock is a real good thing. Let's give this fingerprint scanner a try and see how fast it is. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see, this fingerprint scanner is really fast and responsive, no issues there. And if the fingerprint scanner isn't working out for you, for whatever reason, you can always use face unlock too, so you'll have a backup. My third reason to buy the blue G50 Mega in 2021 is the battery. This phone has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery that supports 10 watt fast charging. And while this isn't the biggest battery in the world, it's definitely a real good size battery that's gonna give you a lot of life. And for the price range this phone is in, I've definitely seen a lot smaller batteries and being able to support 10 watt fast charging helps out a lot too because you'll be able to charge your phone a lot more in a much shorter period of time. So if you don't have a lot of time to sit around waiting for your phone to charge up, if it even does run low on battery during the day, then this phone is gonna be a real good choice because it charges a lot faster than lots of other phones in the same price range. My fourth reason to buy the blue G50 Mega in 2021 is the processor. This phone is getting two gigabytes of RAM with the Unisoc SC9863A processor. I ran a Geekbench 5 benchmark test on this phone and it came back with a single core score of 153 and a multi-core score of 774. So while the RAM isn't the best, two gigabytes isn't horrible because a lot of phones in this price range only have one. The processing power itself is actually pretty good, especially considering the price range of this phone. This is a very entry level phone and it's pretty common to find phones in this price range with only around 500 for their multi-core score. Now I will say that this phone really isn't meant for high-end activities, but if you're using it for basic activities like mobile functions and browsing the web, maybe some light social media use, you're gonna have a much better experience and most likely find it a lot faster than other phones in the same price range. My fifth reason to buy the blue G50 Mega in 2021 is that it has USB-C. Right here at the bottom between the microphone and speaker, we got a nice USB-C port and USB-C is a lot higher quality than stuff like micro USB and mini USB. 
and lots of phones in this price range only have micro USB. And let's just say most manufacturers have switched to USB-C for a reason. USB-C is a lot better and more modern and lots of these entry level phones still only have micro USB. So having USB-C is gonna make it a lot easier to find accessories and make your experience charging the phone a lot better in general. But those were my five reasons to buy the blue G50 Mega in 2021. If you wanna learn more about the phone, definitely check out my full review of the device on the channel. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.